I'm Kirsten and I am the teacher. And I am Lillian and I'm the athlete. Slide of NWABA logo. Human guide. Initiating human guide. To initiate human guide, the guide can gently touch the back of their hand to the traveler's arm. The traveler will then slide their hand up their guide's elbow, grasping the back of their arm in the shape of a C. Another grasp would be having the traveler place their hand on the shoulder of their guide. Modified or child grasp. If the regular grasp is not comfortable due to height differences between the traveler and the guide, a modified or child grasp can be used. The traveler can grasp the guide by the wrist. If working with someone who has difficulty with mobility, rather than holding the guide's arm above the elbow, the traveler may prefer to link their arm with the guide's arm. Approaching a chair. When approaching a chair from the front or the side, the guide should state the type of chair. All right, Lillian, we are approaching a bench. There is no back, but there are handles on either side. Okay. The bench is right in front of you. The guide can give reference points, arms, no arms, stationary, with wheels, or having a back or no back. Give as much information as possible. Approaching stairs. When you use these skills, the two of you, guide and traveler, will work as a team communicating as you go. Hi Lillian, it's Kirsten. Hey Kirsten. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Good, would what you like up? a guide? I would love one. Cool, would you like me on your left or your right? Uh, left is great. Perfect, I am on your left. Okay. When approaching stairs, the guide will inform the traveler whether the stairs go up or down. We're at the steps going up and there's a railing okay. on your right. The guide will walk one step ahead of the traveler and alert the traveler of when there's one step left or if they are approaching a landing. All right, we're at last step going up. Approaching a doorway. Okay. All right, and then we are going to go through the doors. The doors open okay. on the right. When approaching doors, the guide will open the door and tell the traveler which way the door opens. The traveler will hold the door open with their hand as the team walks through the door. Navigating narrow passages. When moving through a narrow area or a doorway, the guide will move their arm and hand so it is tucked behind their back. As they do this, the traveler will slide their hand to the guide's wrist and stand directly behind the guide. Both will walk slowly through the narrow area guiding a handler and their guide dog. When you're interacting with a traveler who has a guide dog, it is important to ask the traveler how they would like to be guided. Lillian, would you like a guide? I would love a guide. Perfect, I am on your right. Spinoza heel. Most commonly, the traveler will give their guide dog a command to follow the guide. For more, visit the Sports Adaptations page at www dot nwaba dot org. Thank you for watching. Thank you to the Washington State School for the Blind for allowing us to use their campus in the making of these videos. Thank you to Guide Dogs for the Blind who create partnerships between people, dogs, and communities. Slide of NWABA logo.